so Baishali is asking what role do emerging technologies like AI and machine learning play in automating data quality checks? I know Ovalage has a lot of AI capabilities and there are even more coming up in our roadmap, but uh, can you comment on this? It's a very good uh, question. And then as the, you know, the AI is emerging, uh, you can check the data quality. You know, you can check whether this is a good quality data or not. You can do anomaly detection using, you know, AI. Uh, you can find uh, some sort of a pattern in in the data whether this data is a you know good quality or basically automatically checking the the, the data but it have to be always uh, assessed with the human uh, because ai um, so some places i saw that hey, you can find the data quality problem with the ai you can fix the data quality problem with the ai as well that is that is not going to happen because uh, that is not a good idea because uh, if you find the problem, you fix the problem as well. That means the there is a the data itself is the foundation for something. And if you can found the problem and fix it as well, both through AI is not going to going to work. Mm -hmm. So the, what we need is a human in loop always. Mm -hmm. So but the there is a lot more innovation is happening into detecting the data quality problem. Right uh, earlier it used to be rule based that you can write your rules. Now this rule is going to let, let the above AI when the AI will figure out some sort of a rule by itself and tell you there is some problem exists here. You go and find the problem. It will give you this, the, some sort of a problem as well. Hey, the, the trend of the data, the, the score is everywhere is a not, should be in the normal distribution, but it's not in normal distribution. It's, it used to be and now suddenly it's not. Right? So mm -hmm. those, kind of, uh, those kind of things, the AI is very good at, at recognizing. The data quality problems, uh, you know, upfront uh, into that. So there is a uh, innovation is happening. We are doing quite a bit innovation in overlay mm -hmm. as well to to do the anomaly detection, to write the data quality rules automatically. Uh, you know, uh, by by recognizing the pattern of the data and write the rules itself. Uh, that, but again, the when the rule fails, then the alert goes to the human, and the human takes action on it. That what to take uh, action with a create a ticket or it goes to Jira system or somewhere and people can take action to it. Gotcha. And um, yeah, for me, like Ovalage is more like a social media platform for data. Um, you have all these cool technologies and capabilities, but you still need people to interact and communicate with each other. So uh, I totally get what you're saying. Uh, so let's look at another question from Kimberly. Um, I have read that data preparation takes 70 to 80 percent of the time in developing AI models. What quality issues cause the most trouble when trying to use data to train AI systems and how can they be addressed? So that's where I'm telling that um, um, you need to get your data AI ready. Because um, as you say, the 70, 80 percent time you're spending, like this is fact, people spend on preparing the data, basically cleaning up the data, merging from one system to another system and putting into all together and combining things and getting the data ready for AI model. So if you see the most of the, the, the time, the data scientists, they're not data scientists as much they're data engineer. They're moving the data from here and they're, they're massaging it, they're combining two, three things and basically ultimately adding it to the, 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 their model. And the model, you don't put a good quality data, nothing comes out good. Now mm -hmm. in, in that space is the, the investment uh, is required is the implementing the data quality improvement life cycle overall into it. Uh, what it means that you implement the, like, like the data is there um, and, and you are not even writing any new model but you spend on the data quality, you make your data AI ready, means you catalog your data, you make sure the data which is creating it is, is a high quality data. Another word which is creating is create data products, which is like, okay, this data is, is a good data, it can be consumed by AI, and I'm creating this as a data product, and I will make sure that the quality in the data is high quality, and, and I have, say, hundreds of data sources or hundreds of data in my source, I'm making these five things, which is available as a data product, and I will make sure this is good. So there are various naming conventions are used in industry to make sure the data is good and AI ready. And that's the data products is one of them, or you can um, you can call them as AI ready data, or you can call whatever you, you want to call. But the objective here is that ensuring the data is nicely cataloged because 
sometimes the metadata quality is equally more important than the data quality itself right mm -hmm. if we cannot describe what exactly it is and how do we find what exactly it is right so data quality is um, is a basically the second step in the data governance first thing is the metadata quality like we know the metrics what it is what exactly is trying to explain that particular thing and then the data in that is exactly the formula what is telling the metadata they should use the same formula etc like for example if i have a credit score if i do mm -hmm. not know the, the the meaning of the credit score then then how what is good otherwise a number 693 or 720 right you need to know the 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 metadata around it like what is the data the what is the the credit score and how to interpret their credit score then only i can understand the data quality of it is so for example a, a person have a very good mortgage record paying record but the data quality but the the score is still coming low so that means that when the business person can understand that hey this is a, a credit score but it's still low but uh, all the other things are looking good so that means there's some sort of data quality issue in that specific uh, problem so um, I think that those are the things which you have to make sure that you are making your data available for AI and, and not uh, so that you spend less time on on data preparation, etc. So you, you're basically dividing the work into the AI readiness work, which is the most mm -hmm. of the time you're getting the data ready. And then after that, you are spending less time instead of 70 to 80 percent time, you probably spend 30 percent time on, on massaging the data and getting the AI ready. And and it's the why it is important that now because let's say there's only one data scientist uh, which is trying to do that's easier. But if you have a going forward, if you're going to have ten data scientists who's going to work on different different business models and they're all going to consume the same data, at that time it is data with the with the data products and this one is a more more important because now everybody is consuming the same data and everybody's spending seventy to eighty percent time. It's too much wastage of the time that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for that answer, Sharath.